Wow, that's uh, when I first started using the Marzio pickups. It was actually a hand wound one that you made when you were on 48th Street. And I had it in my Gibson stereo for a long, long time. That was my first one. I guess that was 19, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to age myself here. What am I? Well, it was in the 1900s. <laughs> Shortly after 48, when you first started on 48th Street. I thought it was great, especially that one. It was uh, kind of funky looking and had the black tape. Definitely very handmade looking. And uh, I just remember the guitar sounding great. Right now I'm using a uh, deactivator, uh, no battery, a great, great pickup. It has an awesome clean sound when you switch to a clean sound. It really cleans up nice and bright, uh, good high end. And with distortion, it's real nice and tight, uh, not compressed and uh, very open and definitely a powerful pickup. The sound of the cables are great. I mean, I use them all the time for recording, especially. Uh, a lot of home recordings, and I use them live to go through my system directly into the output of the amp, the uh, effects end. I've, uh, in fact, I still have some DiMarzio cables that I think are about, when you first started making them, they gotta be at least 20 years old. That they, look, they still look brand new and work perfectly, so. Well, this is my main guitar. It's a pretty simple, one pickup, one volume knob. Um, just ready to go. Floyd Rose, just uh, nice, simple, easy, hard playing. And uh, like I say, keep it simple. Uh, these straps, these Italian leather straps with the red studs. First of all, it goes really good with what I wear. But um, they're like indestructible. I think I'm gonna have to will these to my kids because I just can't seem to wear them out, no matter what I do, so. I've been using the same strap for like four or five years, and it just holds up. Right now, I'm working on my uh, second solo album. I hope to have some guest artists like I did on the first one. The first one, I had Ronnie James Dio, Joe Lynn Turner, Rudy Sarzo on bass, uh, Dee Snyder sang a song as well. And I had quite a few guest artists, and I, I hope to do the same on this album. I just don't know who I'm going to get yet. I mean, until I get somebody on tape, I really can't say who it's going to be, but it should be a nice surprise. The name of my new second solo album is going to be called Pick a Window, You're Leaving. I'm kind of working on a show. It's called Don't You Know Who I Am? And it's kind of a, about like a rock star that goes to places and supposed to be on the guest list and nobody cares and they don't let him in and he gets kind of sort of what really happens to me. I started writing about it and I have a co-writer named Robert Brozio who also um, did a couple of Twisted videos. We're trying to sell it right now, trying to get a, a show deal, so I'm also working on that.